loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Yeah, so if this is the first time here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we highly recommend subscribing to stay updated with our latest content. Hit the subscription button above, click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel release a video. Remember that this channel is not an entertainment channel. You know, entertainment channels give you a hybrid between 10 to 15 minutes. This is not an entertainment channel. So you have to go elsewhere if you want entertainment. Remember to give this video a thumbs up because you will find it helpful and informative. Please remember to share the video with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, mama, papa, side chick or side man and tell them to tell a friend about the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You can join the Patreon squad. By doing so, you will gain access to exclusive content that cannot be played on YouTube due to various restrictions. To unlock this untapped collection of videos, click the link in the description box below. Joining our Patreon community allows you to explore contents that complies with laws, rules and regulations while avoiding disruption to our channel's functionalities. Douglas Chambers, who was killed by PMP criminal organization members and it, it came from the top and to date the person, our person who have given, given that order has not been arrested and charged for that murder. So you can go to Patreon and you'll be able to see the face and name of those person. So thanks for your continued support and we look forward to providing you with exceptional content. So moving on to today's video. Yes, um, good evening. Can you, can you hear me? Um, just give me a thumbs up if you can. You know, we want to make sure that the audio is solid and, you know, you can hear. Let's just let us know if you, you know, if you can hear us. Please. Can you hear me? Yeah, so um so this evening I don't know if most of you know of um the case with this man named Keith Clark. Yes. Oh uh, thanks, Mr. Bailey, and welcome, 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 diplomat ice uh, always on time. Yeah, welcome, welcome, Arthur Bailey. Paul, yeah, welcome, Paul. Yeah, man, and thanks for joining the live. Uh, you know, we are, the, you know, so we are a group of law abiding citizens. We just want back our country and we want it back from these people. You know, that, that's, that's just it. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Paul. Yeah, so, you know, in Jamaica, you know, you know, criminals are lauded, revered, and celebrated. And it, it has been a thing that has been going on for the past 52 years. And we need for we need to flip the script in which you know criminals, yeah, criminals and that you know that are looked upon as role models, we need to see them as we need to start treat them as a disease. You don't want to affiliate with them because all criminals do you know is just feed upon the the life of decent people. Yeah, well, and, and the reason why Jamaica is a warped society, it have to do with culture. You know, because when you normalize, when you normalize abnormal behavior, that's what happened to your people. So, so right now you're looking at, um, looking at your LCD, you're going to say Christopher do the squat, that I'm a man at the left, upper, upper left, and below him is a man named Keith Clark. I know that um, Keith Clark, um, it is rumored that he's um, the father of the infamous shower pass leader, Christopher do the squat. And he was killed by soldiers in his home. 
and they said that um, this killing was done on behalf based on uh, on behalf of Peter Bunting because he's the one that um, even went ahead and tried to you know usurp the Prime Minister post of Simpson Miller and they said that he even went as far as to forge her signature. If that is really true, you know, something should be done. You understand? Yeah, because if you are going to kill, you kill a man in his home, soldiers, you know, because you have um, the state of emergency that Bruce Golden had um, announced. In in all fitting, in, 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 a, in a decent society, you know, the soldiers are not supposed to be executing you know, going to people's home like them are police. Because their job was then, you know, just to, to kill this man, Keith Clark. And that's what they did. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna delve into this um this killing of this man, Keith Clark. And you know that the PMP criminal organization and their supporters have been saying that um Keith Clark, they said Keith Clark is Duda's father. So that's the reason why the security force kill him. So if this man is Duda's father, him live uptown, why, you know, so why you kill him? Because him related, you feel him related to him. Although he's not registered in, um, Dudus is not registered in this man's name. He's registered in Lester Lyde's court name. And he's Lester um, Coke's son. Um, legally and biologically. But you know how, you know how the rumor mill operates. You know, people, one person says something and then everybody just run with it and it become the narrative. So Keith Clark is Duda's father. And so basically because he's Duda's father, him deserve for dead. Which is wrong because you have to understand that we as Jamaicans, you know, you know, we want people to treat us fairly and treat us right. And you don't want to arbitrarily because somebody is related to somebody. You know, you take it up on your head because you you know you have people that is willing to kill for you and that is what they did you know that so they killed this man because they said that the man is related to christopher do the squawk and it is wrong they should not have killed this man because this man in his home doing everything that is right under the law of laws of jamaica and they kill they kill them and then they're trying to make excuse to say that um you know the soldiers were doing their official job. But if Christopher Dudas Cook was at the man's house, this man's home, it's supposed to be the police who's supposed to be trying to pursue this man. Why soldiers went to the man's home and kill him? So we know that most people didn't know that um, there's a shocking connection between Lester, you know, Lester Lyde Cook, um, he's the dad of Christopher Dudas Cook, and Keith Clark. So Keith Clark was Dudas, Christopher Dudas Cook's. Um, accountant. So stay tuned while we, you know, we uncover the intriguing link. So you know how it is in Jamaica, especially when they come on to dance. So even this man, although he's a Dan, uh, them call him Prezi, Mikey, short man, he was he's lauded and revered in the criminal underworld as the ultimate Dan. You understand? Yeah, good evening, sister. Good evening, sister Jackson. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, I, I, that's what we're all about, you know, you know, for us to educate the Jamaican people with the truth. Yeah, and I murder them, murder Mr. Clark. Murder them, murder him. And it's coming from, you know, um, the uh, the, it, it came from this man named Peter Bunting. That will show you how dangerous these people are. Because Keith Clark did everything that a law abiding city is supposed to, you expect them to do. And this man end up losing his life. All because they said that uh, this man is related to. He's Christopher Dudas Quark's father. And at the time now, you know, that there was a warrant out for him for his extradition to the United States of America. So they see it fitting now. All right, he wanted. So he sent somebody because they said that he was at the home of Keith Clark, in which Keith Clark wife said, no, he wasn't here. So all them come by that. Uncle God, he knows. You understand? So Peter Bunting wasn't, he wasn't in government then, you know. So all him come by that information and them just send, send, he sent sent soldiers up to the man home to kill him. All because the man related to Christopher Dudas Cook. According to them. No, there's no evidence of the such to you know to support their argument. So what that you know, so they don't believe in the rule of law. They believe in terrorism because killing this man in his home with his wife, that is unsatisfactory, that is wrong. 
You know, we don't believe in that. We believe in the rule of law. As we said, each person is entitled to the system. And we're supposed to use the system as such. If you break in at the man home, tear off him, shoot up all the man vehicle, execute him, and then the attack say, I shoot out after, and there was no one there that you were looking for. So you, you understand? It, it's just wrong on all fronts. So welcome back to the, um, those who joined the live for the first, or those you know, who are returning, returning um, members you know, of this channel, and those of you who keep giving us, you know, imparting your knowledge that, you know, that will help us to be better at what we are doing. Because we don't know everything, you know. You understand? So we are de de um, delving into the unexpected connection between Lester, Lloyd Coke, that is Duda Swada, and Keith Clark, the accountant. So they say, although Keith Clark was the accountant, they said, you know, some people in our West Kingston, them say, um, Keith Clark, uh, Christopher Dudus Quokes father. And they're trying to, you know, you know Jamaica. So boy, you know them resemble and this and that. On the DNA, by, you know, on the DNA information can disprove or prove what they're saying. But you know that um, Keith Clark family is still mourning. So this is a man that lost his life during the, you know, it's me, you know, the, um, during the Tivoli incursion. And the bloodletting that happened then, that could have been avoided. If Christopher do the squawk, I just do what I'm supposed to do, as he was told by friends close to him and tell him, say, you know, just go on. And there would not be any police station right now in that, um, Tivoli. They would have the police post there. But, you know, um, when people ego bigger than the sea, and people are telling things and say, you're prezzy and you're this and you're done. And if he was thinking as a, you know, as a, conscientious person just look at Noriega look at um, Saddam Hussein Saddam Hussein had an army and him had an air force and him stand up to America and him end up dead so always look at you and him thing if you want to stand up to America but he was just showing the Jamaican people how powerful he is that's why him Christopher Dudu Skoke you know, was able to amass over 300 young men, you know, to come and fight the government of Jamaica. So that is treason, you know, because he was trying to overthrow the government, you know, by using these men. So whether or not we want to believe it, that's an indictment on us as Jamaicans to see that one, one community was able to bring the country to an halt. And people do not see that criminality is not something that no one, no decent Jamaican must embrace irrespective of one political leaning so that's why we say that the political, if you have a political party that is promoting criminality and being lenient and criminal that is not a political party, that's a criminal organisation because we don't want something like this again to happen, you know, and the reason why Christopher Dudu's quote become larger than life is because he was cuddled revered, celebrated and he's a role model in these communities and these are criminal. These are people who break the line about it. They are the same one who are telling people to obey their law, but they don't obey the laws of the land when they're ready to break it because they know to manipulate it and get away with things. And that's that's how it is in these communities, where you have the unelected un officials like Christopher Dudu School, Donald Zeke Swips, and you can go on and on. Yeah, so if you just are joining the live, uh, yeah, remember to hit the, the thumbs up button and share the live with your friends, your girlfriend, whoever, and let them know what's, you know, to join the Jamaica Young Police Channel live. And remember, you know, if you have any questions, you can, you can post them periodically and we address them, you know, during the live. Because as we say, you know, this is not about me, you know, it's about us. We just want to make our country. And we, injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. So what happened to Keith Clark and them thing there? Yeah, Keith Clark family deserve justice. You understand? So, you know that the, the, the central problem, you know, we are addressing today is, um, as we tell you, is the relationship between Keith Clark and Christopher Dudas Cook and Jim Bro and Lester Lyde Cook. As you know that Keith Clark, as we told you earlier, so Keith Clark was you know, Christopher Dudas Cook's 
accountant, so he you know, took care of business. You understand? Lester Light Coke and, and um, Keith Clark, both of them knew um, Christopher do the Scokes, mother. They call her Patsy Bungle. Her father was Charlie Mattress, a very well known man in a in a, in a the city. So Patsy Bungle, Patsy Bungle, who is um, Christopher do the Scokes, mother. You know, they said that she was having an affair with Keith Clark and at the same time, Jimmy Ron was going there too. So both of them, because, you know, she's that kind of woman where uh, she don't, that, that's that's her. She, she, woman, you know, say so you have some women. Yes, of course, criminal of accountant. Yes, a criminal with an accountant. Of course, because him filing taxes. Remember, so Christopher Dudu Squawk, you know, how him get rich? Christopher Dudu Squawk got rich when the PMP was in power. You understand? So, yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> him got rich. Him got rich when PMP was in power. Remember that Christopher Dudu Squawk is the one that got the contract to re renovate the Kingston Public Hospital. And that was when Portia Simpson Miller was Prime Minister. You have to understand, you know, that, um, as we say, you know, they are the one that cudgel all the criminals. Um, Christopher Dudu Squawk get all of, the, all of the major contracts when PMP was in power. Remember, so the Kingston Public Hospital renovation is a billion dollar, you know, Jamaican dollar, you know, and that was is that was the thing that was the contract that he was given to. But the difference with Christopher Dudu Squawk and um, Donovan Bolby Bennett that um, Christopher Dudu Squawk wasn't wanted. Donovan Bolby Bennett was the most wanted man in a Jamaica when he received a government a four hundred million dollar contract for Highway Two Thousand, and. When they talk now, you ask people, that makes sense to me. Our oh, man wanted, the most wanted man in our country, receive a government contract. So, you know, so people cannot compare Christopher Dudu Squawk with Donovan Bolby Bennett. Now, Christopher Dudu Squawk was never wanted in a Jamaica. You know. One time he was arrested in um, 1994 or thereabouts, if my memory serves me right. That was the first time I've ever seen him. He was arrested along with two other men for a triple murder in an Anatone. And the first day, come, the first day the man um, came to court, I see him there, the judge release him. Because the witness, the girl, the girl who witnessed um, Christopher do the squawk and the other two men execute her family member, members at Anaton. She said, boy, um, I police them tell, I police them tell her if you tell lie on him. And so if the same day he came to court, the same day walk out of court, a gun court. A little short man and him little and short. And I want to tell you that, um, very respectful, you know. Imagine um, when the 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 court, the judge um, was talking with him. So we show you know a criminal and very you know based on the few words that I heard he uttered in court, although he's a lawyer, you can know that he's a very intelligent guy and an ad, and an ordinary criminal because he didn't use slangs. He speak properly, you know. Um, get you know the criminal them all when they talk them after yeah, yeah man and. He didn't, he wasn't like that. You can't say that he was a different kind of criminal. In proper English, and him speak fluently and respectfully to the court. And man, I said, wow, how oh, this man a criminal on him sounds, on him thing that's so polished. But him cool, you know, like the North Pole. So the ex, the, yeah, the incur is not execution, it's a, the incursion, the incursion took place in a 2012, 2010. And those soldiers might not even live in Jamaica. And no man, the soldier them, them charge them, man. They charge them. Yeah. No, Christopher Dudu Squat went to Arden. And um he went to Arden, um, Liberty went to Excelsior, and the other one and Jati went to Woolmans. So them went to good school. Yeah, the incursion it was in May 2010. Yeah, so. So you know that um, it has been rumored, them say that now, say, Dr. Nigel Clark, that are the Minister of Finance, yeah, them say Dr. Nigel Clark, he's the cousin of Christopher Dudu Squawk. Yeah, man, the Minister of Finance, that's what, you know, that's what um, some of, you know, the critics and the people them out there are saying to say, you know, Nigel Clark um, is the cousin of Christopher Dudu Squawk. Yeah, so right there you're looking at to your left, that are Christopher Dudu Squawk father, um, Lester, Jim Brown, Coke, and that are Christopher Dudu Squawk. In the middle, and that is brother, 
li live to court. You know, live to court, look dark and long, and you know that he's not loved by the people, them in a Tivoli as Christopher do the court because, you know, it is it is said that he's the one that's responsible for Christopher do the court being in prison right now. Yeah. All because of jealousy. It's, as them say, is the, you say, what is, what is for you cannot be for somebody else, you know. Because he was prayed, they said that he, he was he wanting his brother to, um, to be killed, so he become leader for Tivoli Gardens. All that, you know, make, make, make it make sense to me, you know. Our man for have him, him, his brother, and you, the one of them are criminal, and you want the security force to kill your brother. That don't make sense at all, you know. It don't make sense one, it don't make sense one eye water. Because if you have a brother and anything, you're supposed to be looking out for your brother. You're supposed to be your brother's keeper, but as we said, there's no honest criminal. Yeah. So okay, so who picture who, who's, whose photo is that? Yeah, who, uh, that is not um Leighton Liberty Cook. Okay? But no, same darker. But that's the photo that um, that we have. I have never met a smart Jamaican criminal. No man. Uh, no, no. Well, you know well be well. For you to say that, that you have never met any smart Jamaican criminal because you're not police. May I tell you, say you have criminal out there and everything that way. Smart, I have a police. May I tell you, out smart police. Whether or not you want to believe it. I I remember vividly. We might talk about criminal. Our man named Charlie Freighter. He come from. I don't know where him. Honestly, the way this man lie, I don't, I don't even know where he come from. Yeah, man. Him named Charlie Freighter. One of the smartest criminals I ever meet. May I tell you, say the man. Hey, Charlie Freighter, the man, the man, that is, that is a man, the man get loaned from bank with trucks, Mercedes, Mercedes, Benz, truck and all kind of thing. But guess what? You have to understand, you know, it's a corruption, you know. You think, say, a little man, them out there, I commit the crime in Inval. I people them, that's why we tell you, say, people them, we have the degree, them, you know. They are the one that's involved in a crime, you know. And this man, Charlie, um, Charlie Freighter, he was able to get title for Mercedes, Benz, truck, Leland truck, all kind of truck that was in the early 1990s and get and get millions of dollars alone from bank from banks all over in Jamaica. And they have big company and the man have the man have about ten the man have ten house. At the time, you know, we never have the money laundering um laws on the book. And this man, and guess what? You see, all I loan them a Charlie Freighter get, if him get a loan for 20 million dollars, enough money, you know. You see the bank manager. I get four million dollar out of it, you know. So when I let you want to believe it, you know, all of the crime are involved in you know, are people who have degree. So even the bank, you know, the, 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 the bank manager you know, knows say I rip the man and rip off his system, you know. So I Jamaican people are pay back them the uh, that loan, you know, with him teeth, you know. But the bank manager I saw him make fee money. And you know, that thing said these people are honest and ethical people, but they were a, they were a part of the conspiracy to defraud the banks. Scotia and NCB. And this man he make crazy money, Charlie Freighter. So when you know, so when people are telling about um, you know, when people are telling certain things about these criminals, you know, so them not, there's no smart criminal. Them never meet up on any man. May I tell you say the way Charlie, Charlie Freighter was smart. You know, Charlie Freighter almost escaped from custody. Yeah, remember for, yeah, remember for, Give the video a thumbs up, you understand? Give the, Thumbs up the video if you haven't thumbs it up. And share it, you know, share the live you know, with a girlfriend, your boyfriend, even your neighbor. Hey, look, if you have all matey, you share it with them. Yeah, yeah I'm telling you, crime, c criminals cannot survive without the help of um, people in a certain position. Just like with Charlie Freighter, if Charlie Freighter did not have um, corrupt um public officials in at the bank, him couldn't get it. Charlie Freighter could not get away with what he have done. Because he had people within the bank that have access to certain things. So it's the same thing even with criminals though. Criminals cannot survive without police. Vivian Blake of the show was the one most intelligent criminal ever in a Jamaica. Yeah, because him yeah that is true. Even the American them said because him run it like a corporation because he have you have an hierarchy. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That, the, there was an hierarchy in the show up as it. And the show up as it, you know, is America, is is an American gang, you know, from Jamaica, you know. Yes, good evening, sister. Yes, man, and all. Yeah, welcome all. Yeah, welcome Marjorie, uh, Christine, 
Denmark, yeah, welcome again, man. I'm finished. And we can tell you, you know, say, when it comes down to the shower posse, the shower posse, them wreck havoc in America, you know. Yeah, man, because even the FBI, you know, these guys, you know, the shower posse, and I have another one here, the Goleman posse. The Goleman posse come from out by East Kingston. The guy that used to run the Goleman posse, he's deported, and he, he lives in East Kingston um, during the local government election the other day. He was seen in a company of Mark. Golden, that's an opposition leader. So you have to understand that criminality is because them get the creed in some politicians, that's why them feel so powerful. I don't um, I don't think so because he wasn't a want. Yeah, yeah Dudus never, uh, no, as I said before, Dudus was never a wanted man in Jamaica. Them just no say my dan. And uh, him control Tivoli. And when, remember, you know, um, those of you who are from the Kingston Metropolitan era, they were an ongoing war never-ending war between Matthews Lane and Tivoli Gardens. So if you have, like, any family live near to Tivoli Gardens, uh, you know, you have to walk. But back in the, you know, you, you have to, because a bus, you know, at the time, you know, getting a bus, no matter what, you know, I'll take the bus from downtown for come, um, you know, um, Charles Street or near to near to Tivoli. You just walk from downtown and you just walk and you have a borderline, you know, back in the 80s, you know. And right up to the 90s, where both community at war, all because of politics. One said them a PMP, one said them a Labour, right? And the peace was brought to brought to the community by none other than man, um, a DJ when he, um Bounty Killer. So whether or not you know you like her, you like her, you hate Bounty Killer. You have to give him credit because Bounty Killer is the one that did something where Michael Manley couldn't do, or Edward Sierra get both rival. Both warring faction, faction to put away them gun and live in a unity. So even men from Matthews Lane could have got Tivoli Garden and dance and have to worry nobody and kill him and you know and so on and so forth. So Bounty, Bounty Killer was able to restore the peace. Because you have to understand, you, know, you see our people in Jamaica, whether or not you, whether or not you want to believe it, they respect the criminals more than the law itself, you know. Because I remember saying a you know, criminal, you know. The criminals don't have to abide by the law. You know? The criminals don't write no report and the criminals don't answer it to no authority. So that's why they are criminals. That's why the people have more respect for them. If you notice, you know, in a, in, in a Jamaica, you know, do the squawk have more influence on crime, you know, than even the police, you know. You understand? That's how much the people, them, because the re and the reason for that is that them fear him because they know that he will kill them. Not literally him, you know, but because he has people around them and we kill them. But although the police and the military have the powers where they can kill people, them not fear them because they, the people know that these people have to, they have a hierarchy when they come on to, you know, reporting to people in the upper echelon of the security forces. Do this now, him not report to nobody, Dan not report to nobody. So that's the reason why the people them will sell a coronation market along Spanish Town Road and all these places. They will tell us about when Christopher Dudus Coke was around, them did feel safer because the guy couldn't come and come take up even one of them tomato. And these people and the poor people them from country, nobody never tax them, nobody not take nothing from them because he want the commerce to continue because they make money from the commerce too. You understand? So that goes to show us um, the influence of one man in a Jamaica, in a Kingston metropolitan area. And if, if you listen, you, um, you listen, um, George Pang, you know, did an interview and him talk and I said, boy, him just one day just decide because there was war between Jungle and Tivoli, you know. So at the time, now, Tiv Matthews Lane and Tivoli in a peace. And him said, one day him just decide, say, boy, I'm a good on a Tivoli and him just go down there. And George Pong say him go down there and him, him and do this and the whole of them there and talk till morning and him and say, boy, he's a good man and him thing there. But that's a to George Pong, you understand? I don't know Christopher do this quote, you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm made a friend with a criminal and him thing there. You understand? The only the only thing that I can say um, about him is that, um, the you know, him, him spearing the life of a detective, a detective named, um, the detective named, um, PC that I know PC that you know for and for him to do that that is really commendable when I, when I have you know read you know read the the, the thing um, 
that you know the police the the, the police them at um at special branch you know but they have sheer sheer with us you understand so you know that that was really really commendable you know of him you know saving the life of this policeman so but apart from that i cannot tell you anything about this man because i don't know nothing about him just like how he was a phantom to most jamaican people is the same thing to me because i did not know him you know you understand and you know I am not no friends with no criminals. Period. I just mean that. Me that you understand. Me and a guy, me and me and them guy that wasn't a friend or anything like that. So we we'll continue the journey. So yeah. So Peter Bunting now is a very vindic uh, vindictive person. You, know? you understand. And he's the kind of person where uh, if him not like you, if Peter Bunting not like you, all them thing there, him care. Him, the man that come like. You know, like some real big sissy and them thing. So there was a Keith um Keith Clark had a brother who was in a PMP. Keith Clark, um, them say my labor right, and his brother a PMP. His brother was a minister, and Peter Bunting was working under the brother. So they're saying that um the reason why he had sent the soldiers them to kill Keith Clark was to hurt the brother. So even our government, even our people in our politics, are like men, baby. So that's how them say, uh, because he had key, key black brother, I saw him send the soldier them for kill, for kill um, Keith Clark. Come on, the brother for earth. How that, you know, how that, why is that doesn't make no sense. So as I hear them say, you know, um, when it come on to Christopher Dudus Cook, them say, um, Dudus, Dudus and, um, Dudus and Dr. Nigel Clark, them say they are family, they are brothers. They are, you know, they are, um, they are brothers, two brothers, two brothers' children. So they want, they say Christopher do the school. Father is Keith Clark and Dr. Nigel Clark. Father is Christopher do the school, uncle. So, you know, when you look back at all of these things that happened during the Tivoli incursion, how they killed Dr. Um, this man, Key Clark, you know, the, the, the crucial turning point that changes everything was when them send this man, send the soldiers them up there to kill this man. All because, the, according to him, Key Clark brother and him, they, they weren't friends. So because of that now, and he... I've told people that this man had disrespected him when he was there at the ministry. That's how Peter Bunting said. Uh, if you listen to the woman on your current, uh, what's her name, Karen Cross, that uh, you know, that are the woman, she an old PMP criminal organization, activist years, and she had the one that blew all of the, blew all of the thing them about um, Mark Golden, you know, telling the people, say Mark Golden, um, you know, Mark Golden is a big, um, big time labor right before him become PMP, and I bring them, bring him over to the party, and this was done all by Dr. Omar Davy and P.J. Patterson. So, in time we have people like like um, Peter Bunting you know, operating behind the scenes, deciding who live and who die. That is, you know, that is wrong. We supposed to live in a society where people, the rule of law is supposed to apply to everyone. You understand? But these people, these people, you know, criminal operators, you know, them feel so them can beat the law. And them can go around it and skirt things and them not no respect for other people's rights. But if you respect yourself, you got to respect others. But some people don't respect, they don't respect no one at all. All them, all them care about is themselves. Yeah, remember, if you just join in the live, you know, so give it a thumbs up. You know, give um give the video a thumbs up and share it. You understand? So Christopher Dudu Squat mother is one of Charlie Matras' daughter. She's affectionately called Patsy Bungle. Why may I tell you? <laughs> I mean, you know, I know say Bungle, you know, if we know yeah, if we know what you talk about Bungle and them things there, Jamaica, you know say Bungle mean Bungle means a boy has something to pile up. So you understand? So whenever I get into the Nitty gritty about the bungle part with you know with um Patsy Bungle. So that that uh um Dudu's mother 
And you know, um, Jim Brown, that uh, um, Christopher do the school father, you know, say him was the Dan, yeah, man, Dan of all. Them say he was the ultimate Dan of all dance. Because, you know, say even before he was killed, you know, you just watch him, you know, when he might walk, you know. If you, if you ever see, um, saw the video where they um, video him, when he might go to court, and he might, uh, he, his right hand was handcuffed. No, his left hand and his right hand, and you can't say, my old bad man, you know, and he might say, oh, that was a whole heap of thing for saying, you know. So them say, boy, when he said that, he must take in shots at Eddie, Eddie Siaga, because I Siaga, make them lock, remember I said, the warrant come, I, I Siaga lock him up, you know. I make them for them extradite him. I'm sure you say, boy, that is a man on a plane. Unlike Bruce Golden, whenever act act and the extradition warrant of Christopher do the scope, although his rights were violated, you know, based on our laws of Jamaica. But you know, America, hey, look here. America, when America wrong them right and when them right, them double right. We know I just saw it go in the international community. You understand? So before, before me, after the same year, the mere mention of, uh, that was 2010, you know, before me, um, 2010, the mere mention of the name Christopher Dudu spoke, you know, was enough to cause people to shiver with fear. I didn't know that, you know, so, all, uh, yeah, man, all, uh, once you mention Christopher Dudu's name, you know, you know, so, boy, a straight departure long thing, that, you know, because the man, they are, the man, they are king for death merchants, you know. When I say, I'll, when I say the guy when he's a cowboy, cowboy say when do do them all use all power saw and kill people, you know. You have to be a heartless somebody, you know, for you saw a power saw and cut up a next human being, you know. What kind of person that man? No, sir. I'm not a human being, that Rasta. If you can use a power saw and cut up a next human being, why the man, why I mean, I don't know. They're not an the art. So, just him name alone, you know, drive fear in the heart of people, you know. So you see, even all downtown, as much as a boy we don't you know right now and a rob and we don't know what is happening there right now because uh, his son now uh, him control Tivoli Gardens. Tivoli Gardens need a police station. But the PMP, Peter Bunting, because they want to know what is happening there, they put police station down there. And I think that is a big mistake by the government because we don't waste um, resources. Because the police, police officers that are there they are just sitting ducks because if them decide to them want to kill them, they might just go there and kill them. You understand? You know. So yeah, just give the video, give the video a, a thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up the video. You understand? Because uh, it's, you know, yeah. In so far, it, you know, we have a number of persons that watching the video. Yeah, just give the video a thumbs up so it can reach others. You know. Yeah, give the video a thumbs up. So, as we tell you now, you know, them have a police station known by Tivoli Gardens. In which Tivoli Gardens people don't need a police station because they are law unto themselves, you know. We are telling that, you know. Them do for them things totally different. You know, they have their own justice system and that's how them operate. Whether or not we want to believe it. So, Peter Bunting now is one of the most dangerous politicians in Jamaica. Very vindictive. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Mary. Yeah. Blessed love, man. Yeah, man. And, and thanks for supporting the channel because all we do is just walk back our country from these people, you know. As we said before, and I look man, we have fired a gun out there, you know. The 63 people, them in a parliament. And we know, we, we know who is out there promoting the criminals and want lenient sentence to them. And that's not a politician. Politicians are supposed to make the people them safe. You understand? Yeah, man, no problem, man. So, as we tell you now, so Christopher Dudu's quote now, once in, before 2010, even right up to May 2010, once his name is mentioned, it drives fear in the heart of the people, them. Yeah, them free of him. Go be behind them, Mark Golden. Them free of him, you know, that's the, his name. Even, hey, look here, I'll even police, you know. I know a policeman by the name of Thompson that them was a brave, you know, brave police. I don't, I don't know him... He's tangling, him come from Olympic yeah, but them kill him downtown on Saturday. You know, a mark police week, you know. Well, yeah, them kill him. You know, Thompson, him come from Olympic yard. Yeah, and the man, the man him from Tivoli kill him. But the killer, the person who kill him, I, I don't think that they, I, I, it, that person was not killed um, by the police um, at the same time. Um, he was killed like, Years after that, by Delroy Hewitt. Delroy Hewitt passed away last year. 
Yeah, blessed love man, yeah, Herbie. You understand? And Delroy, you would pass away last year. And that was a man that, although, all right, we are telling you now. You see the difference now with Delroy Hewitt and Renita Adams. Delroy Hewitt was a labor right, you know. We are telling you that because Dadrick and you know, the, the police were killed, Claude Massive. He was a labor right. Two of them come from St. Thomas. I never know that Delroy Hewitt was labor right until Dadrick and you know, told me, same a labor right. And Delroy Hewitt, although the man in a labor right, you know, the man in a light gun man, you know. You understand? Him, 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 of all the police, you know, him was the only police that Christopher Dudu spoke for. You know. And they have an M16 run. And in, and in three in a run, him, they, we have Christopher Dudu's name on it. And him say, I'm saying, uh, one M16 shot. You understand? <laughs> May I tell you, them man in a play. When you, yeah, man. So a police like them, they were one back in Jamaica. Um, Delroy, you, look, you, the man that did fear. The man in a fight politics, the man in a labor right, and the man a pressure the man in the Valley Garden. Yeah, man, because all the brother when he um, had gummy beer, a Delroy you would did all lock him up after the incursion and all them things. But you know, as usual, in a Jamaica, you know, yeah, man, the judge said them, them not believe the police a gummy beer, the truth of the police. Really, you may I tell you, although all them burn on all the police, the judge said they don't believe, they don't believe the police. May I tell you, the police station are criminal and burn on, you know. We have to understand all these things, all these people operate and the political system and the justice is just a criminal organization. Them. We know in America, you think if in America Gummy Beer couldn't shoot off on the police and judge or tell the police say, him not believe um, I tell the police say, him not believe them. Say gunman say him Gummy Beer the murder, although him dead, you understand he was killed by um Christopher Dudu Squawk, son Titty Man. That's Gummy Beer, you know. Gummy Beer had killed. Um, one of Christopher do, do the squawk in a loyal one of them loyal friend a man um, when you name's Tyler um, I don't remember his name half on right now and a gummy beer kill him and the same man I show you a criminal state the same man a gummy beer kill him that man two of them live in a same apartment complex uptown you know criminal you know murder right now the car that gummy beer was driving gummy beer is the man where gummy beer kill Buy him that car. The apartment where I'm living, I'm on, buy the apartment for him. And a Christopher do the scope, brother, you know, um, live it. Set up the man for kill the kill the brother because him said the man get $30 million and him for kill the man and take it. So that goes to show you, say, no matter what you do when you come out to criminal, criminal and a loyalty. And him kill um, Christopher do the scope, right hand man. And I saw Christopher do the scope, son, when he him titty man, and him kill Gummy Beer. You understand? It's on the channel and him thing there. Eh? Gummy Beer was a dangerous man. But you know, and the court, the court let him go. The court said, Gummy Beer, uh, say, I believe the police him, say, Gummy Beer, shoot half, of, <laughs> shoot half of them. So that goes to show you, say, Jamaica is a criminal's paradise. Yeah, so remember, so, so do those, when his name mentioned, you know, before, um, even right now, I'll do him that prison in America. Most people are, who are get trouble and them thing in the inner Kingston West area. Them say, when he return, you know, them say, him know of it. Uh, restore order. Some people, even even all police, you know, say, boy, you know, when 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 Dudu sit there and them thing there, you know, um, crime, you know, with um, downtown, we're not a problem because I just want order. But what people don't understand, you know, the diff is that Christopher Dudu score and the other dance them, them operate at the cons, um, coerce consent type people, you know. So that's that's the reason why people are saying, hey, you know, our government need for all all source of um, crime to the criminal them. Cause them know the criminal make them kill them. And when them kill them, they don't have to write no statement. And a Jamaican for justice now can come defend them. Cause all criminal Jamaican for justice defending our PMP, you know, them not defend labor. Cause remember Tivoli incursion. Up to now, Jamaican justice never come out and no, they must say nothing. In defense of the people them, as you know, as usual, you know, so them all is a defend the criminal them. And against the security force. But because the Jamaican for Justice is a part of a PMP criminal organization, them did silent about Tivoli incursion. I have to understand, you know, Jamaican for Justice is a part of the PMP criminal organization. So that's why when the people them down by Tivoli Gardens were being slaughtered by, you know, according to them by the security force and others, it never bothered them because, you know, them, the, the, the criminal them from Tivoli Gardens are the people them are operating there. They are not. They are criminals. So Jamaican for justice are for PMP criminals. 
you, you, you understand? So they are not for all criminals. So most people think, they, uh, when they fight and a fight with criminals, remember I said 98% of people who are in prison in Jamaica, you know, they are from, they're from PMP communities. So this goes to show you so who really are committing the crimes. 2% of them are from labor rights communities. So it's either, it's either the, the labor them better at committing crimes and getting away with it, or their culture is totally different in their community. So that goes to show you, say, although they have criminal within their midst, they promote, you know, lawful behavior. You understand? So we continue the journey. So, you know, Christopher do the spoke, you know, say, make millions of dollars um, in, a, in a extortion, you know, and was, you know, collected in and around downtown Kinson Business District. So the people that have the business district, them downtown, um, you know, yeah, remember, yeah, give the video, yeah, give the video a thumbs up, thumbs up, you know, thumbs up the video so that uh, I share it with others so them join the live, you know, while you know, we talk about the killing of um Keith Clark and why um the three soldiers them kill him, yeah, give, yeah, give it and share, share the live, share the live, you know, my, um, family. So at his command, you know. At this command, Christopher do the school can just him decide who will live and who dead. And, you know, you understand. And him, he's a person who deal with jungle justice, was meted out to anyone who found to have violated the order. Because, you know, inner his circle, you know, you have a, him called the order. You understand? So him, them get the thing, say, you know, order when they talk about, say, law and order. But remember, you know, criminal, them just break the law, you know, but I tell you about law and order. So that's how it is in a Jamaica, you know, with criminals. You understand? So spare thoughts for the drug barons. They might murder, kidnap, and even dismember rivals with a chainsaw. That's how Christopher do the school do, you know, because the brother when he a um, cowboy. Cowboy come from Denham Town. Cowboy are the one who give the affidavit, a statement to the FBI about Christopher do the school. But you know, so him now, you know, that's why I tell you there's no honest criminal. Yeah, because I remember, you know, Chris, um, cowboy, he used to be there on do this, but he never lied to do this. His loyalty was to liberty that I do this, brother. So everything we do this, you know, do this setting up in a prisoner. Set him was him when we say set up a people were betray him and them thing. That's why we tell you that there's no honest criminal. So I don't know how people commit all people involved in a crime. You understand? Involved in a criminality. Because there's no honest criminal. All of them are dishonest people. You understand? You know, so you know, Christopher do the score, the Jamaican gangster, who's behind, he's presently behind bars in New York, having pleading guilty to a racketeering charge, which carry a maximum jail sentence of 23 years. So, you know, based on, based on some things that the federal government had found out, that of him, you know, saving the life of um, a detective, a detective inspector, at, um, a guy by the name of um, Philip Dad, PC Dad, Uncle Sam decides to, uh, you know what? I'm going to um, Christopher do the squawk. Um, then put him right now. Right now is um, Christopher do the squawk. Right now is at the point where you can, um, where at any time now, them can just ship him out. He can't come back to Jamaica. Anytime now, because based on the things um, that Uncle Sam has found out that he has done, you know, this is a good gesture when um saving the life of the policeman. So because of that now them decide say um they might, you know they might cut him some slack so then put him out out at the you know the part the point where he's at now is for him now at any time now where them can send him back to Jamaica. So any day you now you know Christopher do the school can be just there and you know just yes boy him reach back to Jamaica because he had, you know, the Uncle Sam had received that intelligence that he had saved um, the life of a policeman by the name of Dad, an inspector. And so because of that now, they, they must show him some leniency. You know, and that's how it is, you know, in, a, in the criminal honor world. When you do good things, you get reward for it. And when you do bad things, they punish you. So that's, that's, that's it with, you know, with Dodos. You know, Dudus have done some, uh, he has done some things in his life 
you know, good things and them saying the bad things, sir. But I will tell you all them things, they say, criminals are just criminals. You know, I don't know how a man, how, how a man come up and him want to be a life, you know, him choose a life of criminal, criminality. It just boggles the mind. But people, them, that's how they, their life. And guess what? You as a law-abiding citizen, you know, criminal, now, criminal will not revere you, you know, they revere the criminals, you know. Because they are the ones that they love. They not them not love you as a law abiding citizen. You're not gonna hear you're not gonna hear a youth name in our song. We we'll go back to school and you know make himself a good man. No, you will not hear that. You're not you're not gonna hear that at all. You understand? Them not they, you know they don't operate like that. You have to be a killer. And all you have to be a killer for these people to mention you in songs. And without that. You know, without, without you being a killer or somebody who kill people, you know, you're not going to hear your name in song. So that's that's how Jamaican people you now, them loud and revere criminals. So that's why men like Christopher Ludo Squawk, you know, is seen as as a role model in a Jamaica. Yeah, so that's how the policeman that Christopher Ludo Squawk saved his life. That's the man up there, right between Christopher Dudu Squawk and the farmer, Commissioner of Police. That the Commissioner of Police, Lucius Thomas, he was a very close friend of the drug dealer, Christopher Dudu, um, Bujubantan, Mark Myrie. And you know that Mark Myrie is right now in the United States of America. And you know, a lot of people are celebrating, say, oh, boy, I'm rich back in America. But, um, and him get back him visa. What most people don't understand, say, um, Uncle Joe seemed to be a kind-hearted man. This man has done some good. Yeah, so the thing is that now, do the you know, I do the save that policeman life, you know, because Buju Bantan had seek because he has is he and Shaggy are you know, very close friend and Donald Zeke Swips. So you know the criminal honor world, cause nobody can chat to like criminal. You know. Most people don't know that, you know, cause them boast about because remember say crime and them get away with it, killing people. So them boast about it. So things reach back, cause if somebody is killed in Montego Bay, if you have a Reliable source, and I can't tell people, and I tell police all the time. When I best informant, you can't have is a taxi man. I tell you that a taxi man at three mile can't tell you anything we're happening in Jamaica because that's so them have the best network. That's why I'm um, back in ideas with special branch. Yeah, special branch detective will, will drive taxi. People have to do some things, you know, for um, the better good of Jamaica, you know. Yeah, give the, yeah, give the video a thumbs up. You understand. So that that are the policeman where Christopher do the school, um, save him life. That are before the typically incursion, you know, and you know so after that, that them kill Keith, Keith Clark, the man where them claim say uh, Christopher do the school father. But that are what they, that what they are saying, you know. But biologically, you can't tell the people them, you can't tell Christopher do the school that um, Keith Clark I'm father. You understand? No, you can't tell him that uh, Lester lied lied Quaker is father. So you can't tell him anything else. Although people don't say all kind of things about him. So you know, say so do the school when he was um so the day that the day that they say you know um with with, with coke, you know, at the time do the school was fat was forty um was forty two when he um when they extradited him to America. But before them but yeah, well well, so what the man send Christopher Dudu Squawk to? Him, Mr. Adams, what the man send him to? Him a Jamaican, so when him finish him sentence, the man send him back to Jamaica. And the Jamaican people, they want him back there. Whether or not you want to believe it, them, the people at Jamaica, them love Christopher Dudu Squawk more than the Prime Minister. They are telling that. PMP and Labour, right? The reason why the PMP did what they had to do, what they um, did with Christopher Dudu Squawk to extradite him, Christopher Dudu Squawk could have turned all even concrete jungle in our labor right community. That's how much the people them love him. And why them love him? Because he was a killer. And that's it. I just say, uh, not like a killer, like a, 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 a legal killer, like, you know, like police where kill criminals like Tom Levine, Keith Trinity Gardner, Isaiah Leng, Jan Gaz, um, Ivan O. Thompson, Kelso Small, Calvin Benjamin, and all these people. Him kill, well, him, when him kill, him not have to, him not have to write no statement. Because him him own, that's why they call him Prezi. So him not have, him not, he didn't have to go up against anyone. You understand? 
So we are telling you about um, Keith Clark now. So Clark, Clark with her, you know, yearns for justice, a resolution 11 years after her husband's death. So it has got 14 years now, you know, since the man did. You understand? So Keith Clark did not have a familiar relationship with drug lord Christopher Dudu Scope, nor did he know him, the widow of the slain businessman has revealed. That's how it, the wife is saying that, you know, say, Keith Clark don't know Dudu Scope, but yet the people them are Kingston, uh, West Kingston say, Keith Clark, you know, could be Dudu Scope father because he have a relationship with Patsy Bungle, Bungles at the time. And he was Christopher Dudu Scope, an accountant. They said the the, um, the morning was Key Clark was killed. Dudos left um, Key Clark house on a motorcycle in a wig. That's what you say. But she, the wife, I said, ah, well, Keith don't know him and we don't know him. That is what they are saying, you know. And the security and um, the intelligence is saying something different. So Dr. Claudia Clark, that's our Key Clark wife, who has heard several rumors linking her family to the ones for your show of Posse Boss, for over a decade, said she too has never met Quark. So, um, Keith Clark's wife said she didn't know Dudu Quark or she never met him. But Dudu Quark was, Dudu, um, Keith Clark was Dudu Quark, accountant. Meaning that uh, allegedly say, uh, he's the one that took care of him numbers and all of these things. That is what he's saying um, in, the international, in the intelligence world. So he's the one that took care of Dudu Quark. Taxes. So him pay him taxes where him owe and all of them things. And any money where I'm supposed to pay government for NIS, NHT, for people that work for him. Do this, you know, have a security company too, you know. Yeah, man. Do this, have a security company. Yeah, at them control the security at KPH. You have to understand, you know, so it go with, so it go in Jamaica. Everywhere you go in a criminal have some ax, some foot in, you know. Because the, you say the powers that be, the CEO and all of them giving them a foothold in a, a getting a work. You don't know, you know, straight to the departure lounge, you know. So, I saw it going to Jamaica. But yet still, they see law-abiding citizens and them suffer most. You understand? So, the woman said, she said, boy, I have, I have heard all of them, these rumors. All I know is that I don't know um, Christopher Dudu's quote. And I am 100% sure my husband did not, said Dr. Clark, refusing to utter, uh, utter Coke's name. So, because them killed Dudu's quote, and I said, boy, um, them kill, um, excuse me, because them kill Keith Clark, and them I say Keith Clark, I do the squawk, father. So you know what, not even him, um, Clark, um, Clark, that I widow of that um, Keith Clark, she not even want to call do this name. She know, because she vexed, because, because I is, because of Christopher do the squawk, why them kill her husband. So she upset. So, so she said, on June, she said, I don't wish to call the man's name, because I get so nervous even to call the, the name. So you see, that way I tell you, even, even just to mention him name drive fear in the people, you know. So the widow, you know, of Keith Clark, that's the man when him say Christopher Dudu Squawk, um, father, biological father and accountant, in which legally, and we don't, we don't know not born the DNA, we know say his name is Christopher um, Quark. So you know, say Lester, uh, Christopher Michael Quark. So you know, say a Jim Brown, I'm father, legally. So, in a law, in, in law, this is how it is. Uh, when you come on to a person, a man um, is the father of a child. You see, once when the child is born at the birth and the father is there for put him name on the birth certificate, whether, the, whether is this his child biologically or not, by, do, by signing that, by signing then that are you are the father, that are your child for life. And what most people, what most Jamaican women know, one of them will get jacket and them thing there. You see, all of these men who file for, who lives in America and file for their children. You see, if if when if when the um the mother had the child, if they were present at birth and signed the birth certificate, there would be no need for the DNA. Yes, the reason why is because after the father name was added, if the father signed the name right there and then in a law in America, they would have able. The father would have able to claim the child. Um, there would be no DNA because the father accept. See, his child. That's why he was there from birth. But you know, Jamaican woman, them not run for give money now. Give man jacket. Yeah. So you know, the woman said, "Boy, she's nervous." But she said, "I." Uh, so she. This is what she is saying. But I know my husband did not know that person. Christopher Dudu Quark. She has said, 
or had nothing to do with that person, she insisted. That's how she was saying it, but she, you know, as much as her husband, he never go tell her certain things. Because Christopher Dudusko, he, you know, based on information I received, allegedly that a key clerk was his accountant. I don't know if she knew all her clients or whatever, you understand? And they said that, um, the intelligence said that he, Christopher did the scope before Key Clark um, left there, hours before, because apparently somebody in a government, somebody in the security apparatus of the government told him then that um, he must leave Key Clark yeah, um, home. So he jump on his bike and them say he went uh, right up. That is what he said. I went to um, what his name? Al Miller. Al Miller, I want to took him to Mapin. So, Dr. Clark and her then teenage daughter watching Arrow 40, um, 14 years ago, almost 14 years ago, as Clark, 63, was shot to death during a midnight raid led by Jamaican military at their home in Kirkland Heights, St. Andrew, and May 27, 2010. So, it's almost 14 years ago they murdered this man. So, a post Martin revealed that, revealed that his body had 21 gunshots entry wounds 16 of them to the back which indicate that they were caused by automatic rifle now oh you should oh you figure one man one man 21 shot really no so you can't say no all right this this cannot be a shooter this was a this was a murder for you shoot a man 21 time and in i'm back that means the man back turning up for you shoot somebody in i'm back that's a murder that is clear murder. Find you shoot him so many times in I'm back. Find you shoot him one time in I'm back, him supposed to fell to you go him, him, him fell to you go. But you put your M16 pan automatic and shoot the man. That means say, the main intent intention and them intent was to kill the man, Keith Clark. For them to give him so many shots. 16 in I'm back. That's a murder man. So a 2013 interim report to Parliament by the Office of the Public Defender indicated that the raid was based on military intelligence that Coke was hiding out at the, at the Charles Upper St. Andrew residence with no fewer than seven heavily armed bodyguards. And all of them think they're not lie because there was no bodyguard in Deron Dudus at the time. Dudus was alone and then he never had nobody run a bodyguard in kind of the trust nobody. I never know who want him dead or who want him to live so never have no bodyguard around him at the time you know when um them killed keith clark and then because it, them said that he left on a bike so military intelligence went up there but a state of emergency what the military going up there for because a police normally effect arrest and do sir and there was no police there when they go kill the man so dr clark insisted that was not true. So she said there was no heavily armed in there. Christopher Dudescoke was not there. So there were three persons in the house at the time. My late husband, myself, and my daughter. She told the Sunday Gleaner during an exclusive interview. And she said nobody else was there. So at the time now, Christopher Dudescoke was on the run from local authorities who were seeking to have him extradited to the United States of America where he was wanted on drugs and firearm charges. So, um, but what we say, what the intelligence unit at the military have to um, go up to this man house? Because, uh, because of one man, uh, Peter Bunting, gave them information. Yeah, you understand? Know where this come from? What, what, what? Oh, them killed, uh, because them killed um, Keith Clark. Them killed him because they were in search of Christopher Dudescoke. 